Okay, I'm Kevin. I'm here with Wayne. Wayne, tell them about what you're doing there. What are you doing in that bag? I'm going to be playing with some cool hardware. Well, not really playing, but you know, when we did this, what, how many years ago was that? I don't know, a long time ago. War driving, mm -hmm. we was doing war driving. Yeah. We was finding a web. We found web all over the place, which yeah, we never we thought WPA. you could find. And yeah. But that was a long time ago. A long time ago. We were using a laptop. Yeah, we had a, a big phone. old laptop and a big old alpha card and, and all uh, kinds of stuff. Got a couple more gray hairs and yeah. uh, showing you some more skills. This time we're going to be showing you some uh, new skills with new tools and very importantly a lot more smaller form factor hardware so we're going to be doing some rf driving this time not just making it you know wi-fi centric right let's so go and look at uh, what else is uh, you know, propagating and broadcasting not just going to be 2011 then it's going to be actually other type of stuff and rf and we'll look at all kinds of cool stuff huh we'll we'll be looking at cheap software defined radios so okay. here's one your dvb uh t dab fm so this is uh cheap software defined radio it's obviously repurposed so we can actually get uh, you know broadcast so it's your digital video broadcasting stick that you can receive you know broadcasting signals mm -hmm. but we're going to be using this as a software defined radio so we can tune into different frequencies and um, we'll then show you we, we we can use a spectrum analyzer and we'll have a limited frequency set but we've got a cool new Lime SDR and with this software defined radio, it's got a much broader frequency um, support. So we can go from one to a couple of thousand. And that's the key, uh, right? Megahertz. Everything that's uh, in the RF spectrum is on a frequency. Yeah. So as long as we got a radio that will cover that frequency, we can intercept it. So that's kind of the things we want to do is show people how the attacks have advanced since we did the last video. Where we had, it's, like I said, we took on a laptop, we took on an alpha card, all these other things. Now in these little gadgets here, we can do everything we was doing with that laptop. So I figure we're going to start off with our wonderful Android Innocuous mobile phone. And so uh, we should have already powered this on. And as you'll see, I'm running a uh, standard Android operating system, but I'm running uh, Linux Sharoot, CH root environment, and uh, well, we came out with this Sharoot in 1979. Long so, time ago, protected file system. Yeah. Protects the file system. And uh, everybody thinks jailbreaking is related to the iPhone, but jailbreaking is breaking out a Sharooted environment. And so many people really don't understand that we're doing Sharooted a long time ago. Look that up and they'll be surprised how many years ago Sharoot came out. Yeah. So the basics of that, right, is that we can go ahead and say, well, this is a mobile phone but we're going to go along and expand upon this and add additional peripherals. So it looks innocuous to be walking around with a mobile phone rather than having a big laptop, laptop with laptop antennas antenna sticking out. And everything was driving around so, the car. That thing takes a lot of uh, space. Yeah. So now we've got these small form factors and we can hack in the palm of the hand. And that's so, kind of what we're doing here is hacking from the palm of your hand. Yeah. Yep. So this exactly. is just a standard OTG on the go cable. So it might look like I'm just charging my phone for other folks. So when I'm walking around, I've just got you know my little cable dongle hanging out and my USB connector there where I can start off with. Well, let's start off with just a basic spectrum analyzer demonstration where we're going to show you a built-in spectrum analyzer where we'll actually use an Android application rather than a Sharoot command line or air crack as an example. Right, so, so you're actually just going to use an application that anybody could actually put on the platform without having to do any special stuff. Yeah. Makes so it easy. We're going to prepare to use our cheap software defined radio. Uh, this is about a $15, $20 uh, USB device that, like I mentioned, is used for digital video broadcasting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be using this device and using some software, open source free software, it will allow us to, you know, to basically use this device as a spectrum analyzer. So we want to yeah, look at absolutely. the different frequencies that are available in a specific set of frequencies. Exactly. So the spectrum, the range of yeah. RF frequencies. Let's use the spectrum. Okay, I think so, we talked enough about gadgets. Let's plug that thing in and give it a try. Sweet. We've got a blue light, so we know we've got real power. So let's set the frequency to 500. All right, 500 hertz. What do we expect to see around there? Microphones. Microphones. Hmm, that might be good since we're walking around a microphone area. Yeah. Huh? 
And I think awesome. we got like many microphones already, as you can see. And there. how do you so, know what microphones you got there? Explain to everybody. Well, we'll actually tune into those frequencies normally, though. But um, right now, when we see the yellow bars, yeah. we see in the actual spectrum being detected. So we're actually there, getting so the, the spectrum analysis, yeah. right? So right now, we're doing some RF spectrum analysis. And those yellow bars actually and represent what? Well, the signal. So we exactly. can actually see there's a signal on 499.8. Yep. There's a signal on 500.1, and obviously we can go up so and down. All these wireless mics that are around here, and We can right? see the actual interference coming right from just above there. So 500, as we get into the 501.2, yep. you can see, look at all that. Yep. That is all RF. So there we can actually see, look at the communication on the 500. Yeah, look at that band. That's that, that is that, amazing. That's a, that's a noise swath, right? We call that Jeez. sonar, we call that a noise swath. So yeah. you would actually have a torpedo, it looks similar to that all the way across that frequency spectrum. Yeah. Because you can see that's them sending data yeah, and it's actually exactly. cooking up the signals, yeah. so you actually seen you know, how busy that channel would do, is. It would actually resonate, right? It resonates at a frequency. So when a propeller was, would spin, it would actually cavitate, and that cavitates at a specific frequency, and it's a noise swell, just like that. Yeah. It's this frequency. That's the things people have to remember. No matter what mobile device you're using, what you're doing, anything, it's frequency. It's all a frequency. And those frequencies are air. It's in the air. Yep. It's the waves that we're so being bombarded by right now. Typically, we, we see a lot of other communication on 433 hertz. Yep. Uh, that's going to be for uh, some of the remote controls and so on. So let's go along and see if we're going to find anything okay. from 300. All right, let's go 400. 420. 420, okay. So change our frequency. Yeah. And straight off the bat, we can see the waterfall obviously then regenerating the new feed. So. And we have what we would call like a narrow band frequency, but not really that noise swath now, right? Yeah. You're actually more narrow and discreet. That's yep. what we mean by narrow band. The other one's more of a broad type of washout. Yeah, ab absolutely. So when we're looking at the way a microphone's wireless microphones mm -hmm. are working, the audio is being sent back and forth between the receiver and transceiver. So you yeah. get to see a pretty big burst absolutely. in terms of uh, the broad, like you've got broadband, right? Yeah. Okay. So, well, we've got some cool stuff there. So let's talk a little bit because in the last one, we talked a little bit about legality. What's the legality of this? Can we intercept this RF? Is it legal? We'll not intercept it though, but we can passively you ah, know, sniff the, the traffic. The key is we're just monitoring. So, monitoring the traffic passively. So if you want to go along and find out what's communicating in your environment, you, you're not going to be intercepting and trying to jam signals in any right. way, shape or form because that's highly illegal. But we're going to go along and just passively sniff devices that will be beaconing uh, RF signals. And, and that's the part where we go along and we buy all sorts of these you know, new devices that are IoT, home automation, and all sorts of wireless devices, right? Well, we don't know what kind of communication they might be running. So how do we know they don't set up a fake hotspot and then you know have people remotely connected? Do like a man right? in the middle attack, right? Yeah, those types of things. Yeah. yeah. So the big thing is it's air. So the frequencies are air. So yep. we can actually monitor the air. Nobody can get in trouble for monitoring the air. It's if you interact and send things into the air, we might get into problems. Yeah, absolutely. Now, it's a little bit different so, than the uh, wireless access point stuff we used to do. Uh, it was you know an eye opener when we realized how much technology has changed since we did war drive with laptops. Did the last one, yeah. Everything's gone IoT, small modules, got small and, modular components. Yeah. Uh, Kind of like Lego blocks. Yeah. Yeah, like Lego blocks. Yeah. So it's kind of like put just the, the Legos together now with all these small little devices and give you enhanced capabilities to do all these different wide range of hacking. Before we just had the wireless, 802.11, the basic type stuff, and this time we've covered a variety of different things. And once again, taking like those Lego blocks, popping them off and putting them back on. And yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing what you can do. Yeah. Well, that's because it's, everything's IoT now. So you yeah. add a breadboard to that, and of course, we'll be going through some other series of demonstrations. Yeah, but um, ones coming up in the future. Yeah, yeah. this was just a retake of uh, war driving that we did a couple of years ago, kind of showing uh, now showing war driving, not just targeting Wi Fi. So, change of technology. Yeah, we're the change of technology. Exactly, showing how uh, evolution's yeah. taken place, and we're using micro sized uh, computers now yeah. to do the same thing we were doing yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think it's time to wrap it up. I'm Kevin. I'm Wayne, and thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you in another video soon.